what's up guys welcome to another video if this is your first time here um my name is vicky melody and for those who have been supporting liking commenting and even sharing my content i'll say god bless you so today without wasting much of our time um there is a mastering if it's like you saw the <coughs> the title of the video is a mastering um video so I'm, i'll just try to break down a little bit of um, my process currently and um, every song is different just like i always say it's not just a copy and paste stuff you just have to know um what you're doing the direction and the thing about mastering before i head straight into the system i have to leave you with a note so you understand that if you have a song you want to be professionally mixed and mastered you can contact someone who has spent years and trained years for a long time because watching one video certainly is not going to change your mastering game it will give you an information that you work with or practice over the years before you get better but if you need an instant mixing or mastering service you can also hit me up on any of my contact and i can render the service but without wasting much of your time let's see what we did here okay um for this um this song i actually made the instrumental and um i mixed i recorded the artist i mixed it then i i did the mastering but let me just play what it sounds like before and after so we head on from there so before the master this is what it sounds like with the work in the show let my fungus it go from head to toe or the low manana my list of friends and foes but on the mind you won't get up with pompos and lot of chicks in my hood where I toast the many times where you fall in love with these hoes I chop breakfast well I even with my scopes forgetting I'm a king sitting on my throne but I won't get too hot 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 okay so um after the mastering process this is what it sounds like With the work in the show, the man you fungus it you from head to toe. But the low man you know less of friends and foes. But on the mind, you won't get up with pompos. A lot of chicks in my hood where I toast. The many times where you fall in love with these hoes. I chop breakfast well, I even with my scopes. Forgetting I'm a king, sitting on my throne, but I won't get too hot. Hot, 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 hot. Okay, and anytime you're watching any of the tutorials on this platform, just do well to use good pair of speakers or with good headphones, they you get the whole idea. So um I have two screens like I usually say, um my playlist is on the other screen, but I have to bring it down here for for you to see what I'm trying to show you now. So I have this is um the mix when I exported it and this is the corrected. I'm going to talk about it a little before I continue. Then this is the final master output. You see how it looks from the this is when everything has been made very loud after being treated. So on the first one, this one here, after I mixed it and exported it for mastering, I first did um, phase correction. I used to ignore this, but I didn't know how important it was until I started paying attention to phase, how phase cancellations or phase imperfections can affect your signal. Now look at this is the same mix. But this one is the one I've corrected the phase. Now look at the original mix here. Normally it happens in every record. Maybe just little phase shifts. Look at the, the original one. Then if you look at this tail, this is the right, the right side. This is the left side. Now look at how the right side is here. And look at how it is when it's corrected. Now this little, these stuffs can most times are not heard. But when you start cranking up your limiter, or adding some processing or compressor for example the compressor might get confused when compressing some places that have imperfect phase um responses understand so the first thing to do is always to use any plugin that can correct your phase but if you want me to do any um, phase correction video i could just do them just comment it on this comment section if i get enough interactions i might i'll have to do that so these are just the little phase corrections so i did that then i had my full my corrected um phase it, like trying to correct the balance between the left and the right so that the full stereo image will be perfect before you even start um, adding anything so the first thing i did was um to add a low cut 
on the side this is a side eq that's why one of the reasons why if you watch my favorite plugins at the top of here i will be linking videos i talk about you see i uh, i mentioned fafiota em pro q3 this is actually my favorite eq because it has a lot of potential so the first thing i did was to cut off the low frequencies from the side so i wanted it to have um to give you more stereo width because once you cut off low frequencies from the sides then all the low frequencies will now be centered and give it a mono feel so it makes the tr it opens up the track more and also i cut off um, from the mid i cut off like 16. those frequencies are actually not doing anything reasonable instead they're going to cause harm so it's best to take them off then it will now help every other frequency that is here to breathe correctly you understand so that's the first thing i did then i also did on the mid during my masters these days I, I hardly work on the stereo like i hardly do stereo eqing sometimes i want to leave the sides the way they are because what's in the side is usually reverbs um delay and ambient you understand so i do more of mid and um, mid and side nowadays so i did um i did the cut on this um five i listened to it you just have to listen to problematic frequencies so i, I had to cut off this then i also cut off some of um these places i'm going to solo these frequencies and see and show you what they are sounding like You see that frequency was kind of um bogging my ears and also this frequency here so that was what i did there simple don't do too much you see i'm not even going more than one db in my in my cuts so that was the first thing i did then the next thing i did i did i added um this is um, a Puke Child 670, more like a fair, it's a fair child compressor, more these analog compressors that they have. So and I left the analog on 60 hertz to give me that bored feeling. Then what I did here particularly, I didn't compress everything. I compressed, I did mid side compression, like in my mastering, I know how I mixed the song. So everything was sitting correctly. So that was why I had to do mid compression i didn't compress the sides i just compressed only the mid because in the mid that's where you have most of the information of the song the sides just add room ambience to your signal so i just had to i don't want to compress those things i just want them to remain there and when you do mid compression you also add stereo image to your track so what i did there was i had to ch normally it's usually linked that's everything left right and mid side everything is linked but if i wanted to compress the left and the right differently i could have done that but i just i just separated it to the mid and the sides this is the middle signal i compressed the middle the mid signal and left the sides so you see what you are sounding like So I'm going to do I'm going to do like um, a before and after so you you listen to what I was doing there. So the middle, if you listen carefully, once this compression comes in, there is a little bit of space in the sides, and everything becomes a little bit more clear. But all these things don't get so um, audible until you begin to add your limiter. That's when you start seeing all this stuff. And also, you notice I'm not doing more than even two dB of gain reduction. See how how the the both the vocal and everything came up front when I introduced that. That's if you have if you are listening correctly. So the next thing I did without wasting time, I brought in my and if you've not subscribed up to the up to this time, please do so. Subscribe, like your your reactions on the video help will make the algorithm try to favor the video to get to more audience. You know, if you can also share, it will be appreciated. So Next thing I did, I did um, Fafuta, I did saturation, 
with um, my far filter start on two i had i divided it into four bands i divided it into the low the low mids the mids and the highs so for the lows i just had the kick and the bass uh then i just used the warm tape because the warm tape saturation works better on the low frequencies then in the mid and um, low mid i just used a clean tape i didn't want to add any color because this place sounds sounds muffly if you add a lot of distortion to it let me just show you what i mean i'm going to increase that region so you see that you can easily mess up so you see that frequency right there so i had to just take it down i didn't add too much then I, in the in the mids i use i also use a clean tape then for the highs for the highs i use a clean tape also sometimes i'll use a warm tape depending on the sound but i use the clean warm tape kind of curves off some of the high frequencies and i didn't want that this and I'm, I'm a piano it will cover off the shaker that is the uh, main element of the amapiano piano sound and also i missed something on the eq i didn't show you guys on my eq i also did linear phase normally it is on zero latency but i had to use linear phase so there won't be any um um problems in the phase of the uh, or any distortion in the phase but it, it this when you add phase it now makes your signal to have a lot of latency which is not really a problem when mastering you cannot do um phase eq in, in mixing because some vocals will now be delaying before they come you understand so uh, that was the thing i missed there and on my saturation too i also use linear phase to correct any phase distortion that has been caused by these plugins because when we excite some of these high frequencies it creates some upper harmonics over the audible frequencies so with this phase in check it, it kind of curves those stuff out so i don't know if you really understand what i'm saying hit a like now 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 all right the next thing i added was one of my favorite mastering tool this guy is amazing i used uh this is also pure tech eq model that I, after some of these boards there i used i just added a little bit of um the high frequencies around 10k so this is what it sounds like before and after you see when i bring it in it became a little bit brighter like excited the the sound a little bit more so but normally sometimes i'll listen to the lows but i, I originally mixed this particular project the lows correctly so i wouldn't be adding some lows but if it was an instrumental someone sent and i feel the lows are not banging enough i will use this guy to boost either the 60 or the 100 depending on the way i feel the song should be all right so after doing all those signals then i came to um and after adding this high frequency on the 10k i know this this plugin will be adding some phase um distortions later so i had to come here cut off everything that is after 20k because the audible frequency for the human ear is between 20 you see this thing labeled correctly in every eq 20 hertz to 20k that's the audible frequency an average human being can hear when you start getting old you start hearing less of the high frequencies until you go deaf <laughs> but some animals like dogs can hear above that so but that's we are mixing for human beings we are mastering for human beings so i cut off those places there then i added a little bit on the side i wanted to give it more width where this signal was i i liked it i that i had to add let me play that signal i increased it on the side then i also took down these two um frequencies from the side because the side was getting a little bit muddy and i didn't like these sounds in the side image so normally how i, I will if i add eq like this let me use another eq for example no let me not use this now for how to listen to the sides alone and the middle alone in i am far filter is how to listen to the mid normally is on the left right once you click on this it changes to mid side okay but if you want to listen to just the sides uh and the mids you have to click here 
you see mid and side so you can move to this side and listen to just the side or you, or you move the other way around so you listen to just the mid understand so on this side this was the two frequencies i was removing i didn't like in the side image so and um i just boosted a little bit of the kick area in the mid in just the mid this area where where you have the pumping signal that you know hits on the speakers and create madness you understand so after doing that i brought in my dsr from far filter also this is uh, i i choose the preset under the mastering the high end transient limiting just to when everything is getting too um, painful or loud in the high frequency so this particular dsr can take it down you can also um, do this manually by auditioning the sound you want like if you play let me play another section you can click on audition here and listen and shape the frequencies you want to be affecting before um, the sr to be working on before you let me show you guys something like so you just specify the particular high frequency range you want the the sr the mastering the sr to work on then you also remove the audition then you use your threshold to until you see some db of gain reduction there that was just that was just it you get so then after everything i added um, my limiter then after adding my limiter i boosted the volume the loudness to the place i wanted but then after doing those stuff you have to go back in the in the in process because after bringing everything loud you start seeing some problem areas again you understand so after doing the 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 limiter but i'm going to show the limiter last but i'm just telling you guys this other plugin i added was after limiting understand so i had to use a um a c4 a dynamic compressor to compress just the low signal and the high signal so that when those um because when i boosted the volume the high frequencies were kind of too bright in some areas and the low frequencies were kind of bugging or disturbing my limiter so i had to just work on them and, and it was happening majorly when the chorus came in because you know when the chorus of any song comes everything becomes loud you get just let's look at what he was doing there there's also another um this particular eq but i didn't i don't use it i leave it off but the only time i, I put it on is when i want to just listen this is called um, um mid-range tests that's i saved it as a preset mid-range test anytime i want to test for the mid-range because at the end of the day the mid-range is the most important um spectrum in your signal so once the mid-range can be heard correctly every other thing can easily be fixed because the phones laptops and other devices produce the mid-range frequencies easily so that's the most important so i just do this and listen to the mid-range and see if i can still hear any stuff i just put it on and put it off so let me just show you just listening to the mid-range <laughs> so normally when i have this on i will if i hear some stuff that are not correct i will leave i'll keep it on like this and go back in any of the processes and adjust stuff until i my mid-range is sounding good then i just come back and put it off you understand and all this while my this thing is on the other screen my analyzer is always on so i can see the frequency distribution because i already know where the highs should be the lows should be understand this this how you know this stuff is by 
using this any of your analyzer to analyze already made hit records and see how the frequencies are being distributed on your analyzer so you know where you are heading to understand visually but your ear should be telling you the truth so then i brought in my my limiter i choose the dynamic it sounds best for me in this kind of songs and then i i, I use the true peak limiting over sampling times four once you go this crazy it becomes your system become very low then i also use the data of 24 bits so i brought in this so it's going to get crazy loud now and if you pay attention to my short term i choose the short term as my read at i want to read that's the lufs i am usually around minus eight minus seven point five minus seven point two around that range and i always do my, this where i have the loudest part of my song okay so that was it guys that was how i did this particular mastering every master or mastering process or mix process is different so it's not a copy and paste stuff i'm just showing you to give you an idea of how i mix this particular song so if you have any of your projects you want me to work on any part of the world where you are in because i've done songs for i've done mixes for people around the globe so anywhere you are just dm me on instagram or my whatsapp number that should be on the screen right now and um, do it to like subscribe do all those interesting stuff that help our videos to go viral on this youtube space because we spend a lot of time shooting these videos making sharing the knowledge and also editing them in editing software before we can be able to upload them so those are the little things to do to support the channel and make the channel grow so the growth is kind of the reward we see and like okay we are putting in work and these things are we are seeing growth you understand so that's just the reward so do well to watch other videos that and anything you want to ask me you can ask it on the comment section i always reply or respond to any of your comments there love you guys <laughs>